Okay, you ready? I think we're gonna get in the car and then awkward. It's not like she's staring at us, she has better things. She can hear us. This is the video you guys can live in. No, I'm serious, I'll kill you. Alright guys, it's Sunday and we are both off and we are going to do a little bit of a combination today of getting some chores done but also having some fun. We like to always start our Sunday chores with having a coffee. So we're going to have a little cheers to Sunday and the week ahead. Uh, the weather is so much nicer again here in Florida. We've been here now for 15 months and I have already fully adjusted to warm weather. I will never go back to the cold ever again, no matter how much money you pay me. So we are finally at an 82 degrees on this beautiful Sunday at 12.21 p.m. So our goal for today is to actually go get lots of groceries because when you live with bodybuilders, you have to eat a lot of food. Yeah, that's what to say. I think it's lots of Kevin groceries and then I get like a smidge of groceries. So one thing you will learn about us is that we do not just go to one grocery store. We have a grocery store for sauces, mm -hmm. we have a grocery store for proteins, and then we have a grocery store for all the other miscellaneous stuff. So first stop, we will be going to Costco, and that's gonna be exciting. So that's definitely why we needed to start the day off with coffee first. And then we are going to end this Sunday at Universal Studios. So usually we like to go to the parks at night because it's just the theming is so much cooler and everything's lit up and it's just a fun way to kind of relax and just recharge for the week ahead and you are going to get a little bit of a glimpse of what a Sunday usually looks like in the Bogdan house but for now we are cheersing to just being healthy warmer weather not being in Chicago and to having very big muscles Unbelievable. All right, everyone. Three grocery stores later, $300 later, we have maybe two days worth of food. So we got a big variety here, guys. We have some chicken breasts, some pre-made rice, some cereal, some eggs, some protein bars, some pita bread, some bananas, some sauces, some energy drinks. Got a little bit of everything here, guys. Bridget's got her own little creation that she's going to be doing this week that we will be making a video for. Sneak peek, it will be like a little queso chicken recipe. So that's what these little potatoes are for. Um, and that is what the queso over here is for. Um, I'm sticking with more of my basics. But yeah, guys, this is uh, what a typical Sunday grocery trip looks like. You have to get certain things from Costco certain things from Publix, and certain things from Walmart. So three hours later, three grocery stores later, and $300 later, this is what it looks like, and this is how we carry it. Ollivander is still searching for where his snacks are, <laughs> and he is not happy that we did not include any treats for him on this Sunday trip. But yeah, the wagon, game changer, so that we don't have to make those muscles too sore. That's only for the gym. So yeah, guys, we're gonna, Includes you in on the rest of the fun today. This was the boring part and coming up We're gonna have some excitement at the park and more bicep flexes. Who's ready? Okay, we are t-minus One hour from being at the parks Universal Studios is the game plan for today. So to make sure that we can go to the park, and not only just have cravings to eat all the snacks there, we wanna make sure that you actually are fueled up because it requires a lot of steps to just walk around the parks. You're burning a lot of calories. You're probably burning or walking 10,000 plus steps if you're actually there for a few hours. So we're always gonna be on a good, healthy diet here at the Bogdans, but this is informational for anyone else that's looking to spend a day at any type of theme park, especially here in Orlando where it can be so hot. Not only do we wanna stay hydrated with electrolytes, we want a good balance of protein and carbohydrates. So we got some lean chicken breast, we have some rice, and then we actually got two pitas with some hummus on it. So this is a pretty calorie dense meal. Bridget definitely did about half that. She finished up her 
lean chicken breast rice. She looks like she has some leftovers still, but she also liked to add a little bit of like a salsa type topping on there. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is a look at what we do pre-workout before we go to the park, and then we will actually show you what we eat when we are in the park. That's very quick and something easy so that we're not lugging around food all the time. So, all right, guys, this is meal number two for today. All right, guys, so we just got to Universal, so this is now going to be time for the fun part of the video, I should say. So we're going to try to ride some rides. I might try to convince Kevin to let me get a butter beer, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah, really, really excited. It is the Super Bowl, so we thought that maybe it would be a little less crowded, but I highly doubt that's the case. So we're probably going to try to do what? Islands of Adventure first. We might go on Universal side, but Mardi Gras is going on, so I'm not too sure if we want to deal with the crop. Oh, you're right. Tribute Never mind. Store. So we are going to go to the Tribute Store. Then we'll probably go over to Island. Um, maybe ride Hagrid's, depending on how long the line is. So we will see, but ready for you guys to come along with us. All right, so we made it to City Walk. You can see they have the Mardi Gras decorations there. Not as crowded today, probably because it's a Super Bowl, so that's good. We are going to meet up our friend once Kevin stops and uses the bathroom per usual. So it is Super Bowl Sunday, and NBC Sports is doing a drink package, so it was $100. Looks like they actually have a pretty decent crowd for it. We will not be watching it. We are going to go ride rides instead, but be cool. Actually, I can't read, so it's $100 minimum per seat that's crazy i mean i guess we can spend a hundred dollars though on food but i don't know what i don't know about anybody else but christmas still by far is my favorite for the medallions that they put up for universal you can see here this is the mardi gras one for this year probably will try some food one of the days but just not really looking forward to doing it today so our friend emily has the universal epic universe shirt which i'm obsessed with is there anything on the back or no 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 that's all right Still like the front, still like the front. So this is this year's Mardi Gras Tribute Store. All of the beads that you can just get for free when they throw them at you. Let's see. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh my God. Who votes that Kevin should buy me a popcorn bucket? These things are pretty cool. Some more fun shirts. Not gonna lie, I'm very impressed I like this, one. this year. Oh, nothing on the back, so that's a very. This is probably my favorite shirt. So this is the front, this is the back. Definitely will probably be getting this sooner or later. This is the face of a sore sore loser. It's okay, honey. So this is our favorite part, or favorite part, it's embarrassing. This is our favorite part of Universal Side is in Diagon Alley. Um, we absolutely love Green Drops. It's one of Kevin's favorite rides. Fun fact, it is the first ride that we went on together as a couple when we started dating. And he told me he was gonna kill me in the middle of it. So that was good. But yeah, we're gonna go on Green Drops and then we're gonna get the water beer. And that's it. Diagon Alley at night is my absolute all-time favorite. I just love all the lights and the dragon. So the ball is finally moving again. It has been months since this has moved. Okay guys, we just got home. A little tired. How many steps did we do today? Like 15,000 I think? Yeah, like 15,000, which actually isn't that much for us, but we had a great time at Universal. Um, very, very impressed this year with Mardi Gras between their merchandise, the food offerings that mm -hmm. they... <laughs> I seriously cannot handle you. I'm not taking that out. Like, that's going in the video. <laughs> oh my God, it stinks in here. Oh, it's the wrong window. <laughs> Um, but anyways, so the merchandise looked, did you just do it again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the merchandise was awesome this year. The food looked really good. We are probably going to do a food review soon. Um, 
probably maybe towards the end of the month or something like that but all in all it was a lot of fun we were going to record actually um some meal prep for the week but honestly i'm exhausted and i know that our big guy is going to be full of energy right now so we are just going to say that for another video but we had a great time today um we hope that everyone enjoys this video please like and subscribe it does help the channel out and it means the world to us if you guys have any suggestions on what our next video should be please comment below and yeah it was a great bogdan sunday sup wizard out